despite how I feel right now, I do not feel good right now. I have no idea why. Um, I've done this video like probably like six times now. Um, that sucks because the first time around, no, the first time around sucked, but like around like the third time around, everything was perfect and then sound about functions and it was ridiculous but yeah like all of a sudden I don't feel good like I ate all gotten earlier and now I feel like really really hot and I feel nauseous I don't know what's going on um so hopefully I can make it through this video um I'm gonna try despite how I feel because I've been trying to upload this video for a while now I even had on contacts earlier try and switch it up and now I'm just at my point where I don't care so I didn't put them back on <laughs> because it's 2.05 in the morning. I'm just going to show you guys the proof of what time it is right now. try to rush through this so my little one doesn't wake up again because that's also what happened last time so number one is did you wake up cranky <laughs> no I don't wake up cranky unless people are really loud or they wake me up for no reason so if you're just running around the house crazy like my oldest son does then yeah I'm gonna wake up cranky and I'll be very angry because I'm like why 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 are you doing this not today Satan not today Number two is, would you date an 18 year old at your current age? No, only because um, an 18 year old, most of the time their maturity level isn't high at all. Um, and they can't handle the fact that you have kids, unless they have like a kid of their own. But even then they feel like they can't handle like being around yours. Um, so yeah, that maturity level is completely gone. Like. I'm 23, I got two kids, I'm not looking for a third child. And I say that because um, before I had my second child, I was dating a person that at the time told me that he was 19, he was actually 18, come to find out, I found out later. Um, and um, despite his age, I was able to forgive him were willing to forgive him and still date him and you know see where it went and basically it went downhill and has always been downhill and now I have to deal with him for the next 18 years so I learned my lesson um do you prefer to be friends with girls or boys um rephrase that question do you prefer to be friends with females or guys um guys i used to prefer to be friends with them but now it seems like guys are really um like drama ties like before girls would say hey i love hanging out with guys because they're drama free you know which used to be true but for some reason this generation now guys gossip more than girls it seems like and they're like really bad liars now <laughs> and they actually care what you think um so it's like the gender switched completely and now all of a sudden like us females are like huge savages and like the guys are just like have no balls i don't really know so I don't really even know how to answer that. Like, I guess I prefer to hang out with females now because guys freaking suck. But I mean, I'll still hang out with a guy, you know? Like, that's no big deal, but don't, don't bring your drama into my life. Like, I have enough going on, please. Um, would you smile at a stranger? Yeah, I mean, so. Oh, by the way, I did not say what this tag name, oh my God. So technically this is like a 20 random questions tag, 
but the tag name on this says the invade my privacy tag but technically i mean invading my privacy these questions are not invading my privacy at all so yeah that's the question um anyways would you ever smile at a stranger yeah i mean no big deal i smile at everyone that pretty much walks past me if we make eye contact if we don't make eye contact i'm not going to like force you to look at me i'm not going to be staring at you waiting for you to look at me because that's weird so if we happen to make eye contact i'll probably be like hi how you doing you know whatever be nice um can you commit to one person uh, yeah i mean pff, yeah that's no big deal as long as you're willing to commit to me i'm willing to commit to you like period um, how do you look right now? This is what I look like. <laughs> this right here is what I look like on a daily daily basis. Um, I just started doing my hair in like this like top bun thing. Oh my god, my hair's taking it back. I just now started doing this like top bun thing since I've been with the military. Only because like my hair is like um, finally long enough to do it. Um, so yeah. Um... And number seven says, what exactly are you wearing right now? But you can see what I'm wearing. Um, I'm not really going to go into details. Um, I'm just going to show you that it's like this purple, like flannel type thing um, shirt that's like purple and black and it has these little ruffle things going down. Yeah, I look like I play the piano, I know. Um, <laughs> how often do you listen to music? Very. Um, well, I don't listen to it like in my house unless I'm cleaning. But, like, if I'm in the car and you're with me, um, I hope that you're not going to talk so that we can jam out to music. Because music is my life. And, yeah. <laughs> um, do you wear jeans or sweats more? I would say that I wear sweats more now because my thighs are too big to fit in my jeans. And I'm not trying to go out and buy, like, a whole bunch of brand new jeans in a bigger size. And then I lose, like the weight that I've sort of gained right now and then I can't fit them anymore anyways so basically right now I'm just wearing sweats until I can fit back into my jeans plus it's cold now so I mean sweats are life um do you think your life will change dramatically before 2017 I highly doubt it I mean the only thing that could dramatically change in my life between now and then are either like or now in 2017 would be like a really traumatic um thing and i don't want that obviously or like i end up pregnant or something <laughs> that's not gonna happen i'm not mm -mm, no i just got over a pregnancy i ain't gonna be pregnant again number 11 are you social or a anti-social person it's um both um a little bit of both um i can be very social i can be very nice i can you know talk your head off if you want um and then at the same time i can be very antisocial and pretend that i don't exist and i can make it that way unless somebody keeps giving me attention and they're like why aren't you talking um because i've had that issue with like people that are like why aren't you talking what's going on talk say something hello and i'm like i don't know what to say <laughs> so it really just depends on the situation depends on who's around who i'm with um, if it's people I don't like, I'm probably going to talk a lot because I'm going to continually be thinking like, why are you here? Why am I looking at you? Why are we in the same room right now? Like, so I'm going to be talking to other people, trying to like, get you off my mind, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, 12, if the person you like, say they like someone else, what would you say? I wouldn't say anything because, I mean, that's your business. If you don't like me cool if you like somebody else cool i mean there's nothing i can do at this point to change your mind i'm not going to change your mind i'm not going to try to be better than that person that you like i'm not going to fight for your attention i'm not going to do any of that like that's like elementary school status like stuff that i probably used to do as a kid like write letters to boys and say i think you're cute and you know and, like i like draw pictures for you and try to make you like me better than some other girl i don't know i grew up so i don't really care anymore like okay kudos to you um are you good at hiding your feelings no well yeah at the same time because a lot of people actually say that like i'm really mean 
and that I don't have emotions and that like I am a B but I don't agree with that at all because I can pretend that I don't have feelings if you're like showing me the same thing so if you're showing me you don't have feelings then I'm going to try my best to do the same and I'm going to say mean things every time I talk to you and I'm just gonna pretend that like I'm gonna try to pretend you don't exist but really like you're gonna be there but I'm just gonna be thinking of how much I hate you um no I don't really hate anybody but like you know we all have that moment but I try to hide my feelings but behind closed doors you know to certain people they will see my feelings and they're like why are you thinking about that and i'm like i don't know it's just me can you drive a stick shift no and for some reason people want to teach me so bad and i think it's because i drive a camaro so they automatically assume like oh you drive a fast car it's supposed to be a stick shift supposed to be a v8 you're supposed to be burning your gas every moment you have you're supposed to be on empty every chance you get you're supposed to be filling up every other day like no so no i don't drive a stick shift um do you care if people talk badly about you no because guess what they're gonna do it anyways like i mean i know when i get famous there are gonna be people that are like ew she doesn't deserve that ew why is she famous ew she's talentless and i'm just gonna be like thanks okay say hi haters no i'm just kidding i don't really care yeah i don't care um are you going out of town soon no i was supposed to but i'm not anymore when was the last time you cried when i gave birth to my baby boy um have you ever liked someone you didn't expect to yes i did um refer back to my story earlier about the 18 year old that lied to me about his age which now obviously he's not 18 anymore guys um it's been it it's, he's 20 now but yeah yeah he's 20 Cause when we met he was 18 turning 19 but he told me he was 19 turning 20 now he's 20 um but yeah he sucks but yeah i did not expect to like him i actually like hated him because he was stalkerish and he would like text me like all these paragraphs like calling me beautiful and all this stuff and i just kind of like shrugged it off for the longest and basically was begging me to go out with him and i mean if you guys don't believe me like i have the text messages like i would i don't care about putting him on blast i mean he's he screwed me over so but um yeah so <laughs> I didn't expect to like him and then somehow I opened up my heart to him and I trusted him and that was the biggest mistake of my life um so yeah if you could change your eye color would you yeah probably um probably do like a hazel or maybe even like a um gray oh my god a gray would be freaking awesome but I wouldn't mind a hazel like just a lighter brown you know that's okay with me um and number 20 last but not least name something you have to do tomorrow okay well it is tomorrow but um i have to take my placement test for college tomorrow and i have to do that at 12 o'clock tomorrow remember now it's 2 17 in the morning right at this very moment by the time this video is finished getting edited and uploaded um it'll probably be uploaded on youtube at like eight in the morning so if you're watching this right now it's probably like early in the morning or later in the day whenever you decide to watch it but when i published it it was probably like eight in the morning um and not only that but i have to get my son up ready for school at 6 a.m so tomorrow's gonna be like a really busy day um i'm opening a p.o box tomorrow as well because of a fan of mine named augustine fiora um hey by the way um he is a very loyal fan he always um hits me up on snapchat and stuff and asks me how my day is going and he talks to me all the time he asks me questions all the time lets me know he likes my videos and stuff like that so shout out to you augustine um if you're watching this um yeah so Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this boring um, 
video. <laughs> so I don't think it was really boring, but it's just the way I feel. I don't feel good. Earlier, I was completely energetic. I'm not energetic anymore. So, because I don't feel good. Oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep. Anyways, so yeah, give it a big thumbs up. Um, comment below what you thought or message me on any of my social medias at the end of this video. Um, and subscribe, I mean, why not? I mean, you already made it this far, right? And you watch all my other videos, right? I mean, I'm sure you're gonna click on my profile, you're gonna look at my other videos, and you're gonna be like, okay, this chick is funny. Click the sub button. <laughs> Do us all a favor. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, um, I hope you have a blessed day, blessed night, blessed whatever day you're watching this, and stay awesome. I took your girl last week, now I'm trying to be her man. Yeah. I don't got time for freaks, cause they messing up my...